This is the Milky Way core, as seen from the Southern Hemisphere. Let's take a closer look at some of the strange shapes and colors here. Extending out from the main Milky Way arm is the Rho Uffizi cloud complex in the constellation of Scorpius. This is undoubtedly the most colorful region of space that we can see from Earth. The red regions you can see here are called emission nebulae. They are caused by the electrons of abundant hydrogen atoms being excited and quickly relaxing to emit a deep red wavelength of light. We'll talk more about these in a future video. In stark contrast, there are also numerous reflection nebulae. The gas in this case isn't energized enough to excite electrons like they are in an emission nebula. It's just enough energy to reflect and scatter incoming light from very bright stars. In almost all cases, the only stars capable of providing sufficient energy to cause this gas to glow is from extremely hot giant blue stars. There are two examples of that here with the aptly named Blue Horsehead Nebula in the top left and the Rho Fuji star itself in the center, which is greatly obscured by the surrounding gas. The striking yellow nebula is a very rare reflection nebula caused by the red supergiant Antares. Antares is the bright yellow looking star, hence the yellow reflection nebula. It does look much redder to the naked eye and is easily confused for Mars, which is where its name comes from. Antares meaning rival of Ares or Mars in Greek. Antares is one of the nearest stars to us that will explode in a cataclysmic supernova in the next few million years. The inky black tendrils are also regions of dense interstellar dust and gas. However, without any bright hot stars near enough to make them glow, they appear opaque as they effectively absorb and block all incoming light from reaching us. These are called dark nebulae and are probably my favorite due to the incredible shapes they form and contrast they provide. To round out the Roho Fuji region, we have the messy ball of light known as M4. This is a globular cluster containing over 100,000 stars in an area that is just 75 light years across. For reference, there are only about 80 known stars within 70 light years from Earth. This region is dense with stars. This is the nearest globular cluster to Earth and one of the best to see visually through a telescope. Exactly how globular clusters form is still a matter of debate. They are definitely one of the weirdest objects in space. We'll explore other parts of the Milky Way core in future videos.